The Tulsa World learned on Saturday that Broken Arrow is on the verge of hiring Josh Blankenship as its next head football coach. I'm Bill Haston, Tulsa World. I'm with Barry Lewis of the Tulsa World. Uh, Barry, in my mind, there was a list of uh, two dozen names as possibilities for that job. I can't say that Josh was on that list. Uh, and I just was really curious what your reaction is to that uh, situation at BA with Josh Blankenship uh, succeeding David Alexander as the head football coach and whether Josh might have been on your radar. Josh wasn't on my radar screen, although obviously he should have been, but uh, he's been away from the high school scene for six or seven years. So that uh, at Adams State, uh, where he was first um, – uh, an assistant coach and has been the head coach since 2018. So that was probably one of the reasons why I wasn't thinking about him. And also the fact that um, at Muskogee, where it is previous head coaching experience as a high, at the high school level, it was not a successful three years at Muskogee. So um, this does come as quite a surprise. Uh, it will make the Patriot Bowl rivalry a lot more interesting oh, no. as you've got Owasso and Broken Arrow big rivals and it's going to be a father and son coaching uh, matchup with Good Bill Blankenship at uh, Owasso and now Josh at Broken Arrow so it was already an inter very interesting rivalry and uh, two teams that often have met in the playoffs uh, in recent years and now it's going to be really interesting but uh, I was very surprised that uh, Josh was named head coach because I thought if Broken Arrow was going to replace a head coach, David Alexander, who had a really uh, out, outstanding one loss record for the most part and won a state championship in 2018. So the bar is very high at Broken Arrow. Yes. So I thought that if they were going to make a coaching change, they would be only looking at coaches who had a glossy, resume a glossy one loss record uh that would probably have been a coach who had won a state title or at least been in a state championship game uh check off a lot of those boxes and as a head coach josh does not check off those boxes um he's got a lot of intangibles and he was an assistant coach and did a great job at developing quarterbacks at union uh, last three years at union they won state titles and uh, had outstanding offenses there. Uh, in fact, the last game he coached, he was an assistant at Union, uh, was one of the greatest state championship games I've ever seen, maybe the greatest, uh, when they beat Jenks 50 to 47. Uh, so he's got some outstanding um, credentials uh, from the offensive standpoint at the high school level. It's just been a while. So, um, and I know, Jazzing up the offense at Broken Arrow is a big part of this, the decision why they wanted to make a coaching change. And uh, what Josh did at Union and what he has done at Adams State, although the one loss record has not been great there, it's never really been great at Adams State long before he got there. Uh, they've been four and seven as, uh, the last three years. But uh, he, the offense at Adams State has been great. Yes, it so, has. Uh, if they're looking for um, a more exciting offense with better quarterback play, uh, I think those were factors that made Josh a really attractive candidate. Along with the brand, obviously, the Blankenship brand is obviously, you know, it's a, it's it's so prominent in this market and really statewide. But uh, Josh. Uh, was uh, uh, an all-state quarterback for Bill Blankenship at Union in the 90s. Josh played at TU for three seasons, highly productive. He's still to this day, Barry, the number seven guy on the TU passing career passing list. Finished at Eastern Washington, spent a little bit of time in the Arena League and with the Tulsa Talents. Um, and then, like you said, uh, was, a, was, a, was a, an assistant at Union for his father and then later for Kirk Frederick uh, when Kirk had that run of championships. And then so, and then and then Josh coached the quarterbacks for one season at TU, and then more recently at Adams State. Like his his offense 
uh, his final year there as a coordinator, they were number two in the country in passing and number 11 in total offense. So he is, he is a proven guy with regard to scheming, scheming it and play calling it. Uh, and now he takes on the, uh, the broken arrow job, which is uh, all, all of this obviously is pending board approval at broken arrow. Uh, but I think by the time, by this time next week, a week from now, few days from now he will be introduced in a pretty grand way at, at broken era as the new head football coach at the age of 39 which is kind of crazy barry to, to envision josh blankenship as a 39 year old guy but he is he's a family man uh with four kids and a 39 year old guy and then and the next head football coach at ba and uh josh although he has been away from the local high school scene, obviously for about seven years or six or seven years. Um, I, the, he did maintain for, because of recruitings, a little bit of a connection, at least one of his top offensive players in 2019 was uh, the former Booker T Washington receiver, Tariq Bitson. So, and of course the connection with his dad um, and uh, it's, also, but it, but still being away for six or seven years, uh, that's going to be interesting to see how he makes the transition uh, back into the high school level. And, uh, you know, you talk about the Blankenship name, uh, not only Bill Blankenship and Josh Blankenship in 6A1, but uh, a lot of people say that although, although even Santa Fe came to the, uh, went to the championship game this year, most people say the program to watch in the West is at Mustang with Lee Blankenship. So um, the Blankenship family uh, is, makes its presence known throughout class six A one in the, across the state of Oklahoma. You can read uh, our coverage of the Blankenship uh, situation in the Sunday Tulsa world. And then for day, the next several days, uh, you can read continued coverage from Barry me, Mike Brown, uh, so uh, on TulsaWorld.com, but uh, here on Saturday afternoon, like I said, the Tulsa World learned today that uh, the, uh, and, and just for the record too, uh, it is true that Lauren Montgomery, the Bixby coach, was approached about the Broken Arrow job, Barry, chose to stay in Bixby, no surprise really in that he's got a dynasty going on there. He built that dynasty and before too much longer, they're gonna redo those facilities at, at Bixby and bring them up to date on the same level as, as, you know, other big school superpowers. So I can understand why Lauren was content to stay in Bixby, and, but I also understand why his, the Broken Arrow's first call was to Lauren Montgomery. But ultimately, uh, what are we now? Uh, about a month removed, a little more than a month removed from the dismissal of David Alexander. Josh Blankenship is the choice at Broken Arrow for the football job. Stay connected with us at TulsaWorld.com and we'll keep you informed on this situation.